An escaped inmate is back behind bars in the past two months. Two inmates from a prison in Brazoria County have managed to get away. The latest taking place tonight where an inmate serving a life sentence simply walked out the door. ABC 13's Nick Dottario live in Brazoria County with what's being done to make sure this doesn't happen again, Nick. Both of those inmates were eventually caught and put back behind bars. However, the Texas Department of Criminal Justice says it wants to see how this keeps happening, so it's going to review all of its processes and see if any improvements need to be made. Upgrades, some neighbors here say, need to take place after the latest inmate was able to get away thanks to his mom, a hoodie, and an ID. Just off FM 521 in Matagora County sits this park on the banks of the Colorado River. It's pretty here. quiet, yeah, just usually just fishermen and families come over here and mess around and that's it. This morning, the silent sounds turned to sirens after who was spotted at River Park in Bay City. The Texas Department of Criminal Justice says it was an escaped inmate who was 40 miles from where he should have been. I mean, there's a lot of woods right here, but I mean... Not by the park, I wouldn't think it'd be an uh, easy place to hide, but definitely around there's a lot of woods. PDCJ says Robert Yancey escaped from the Clemens unit Sunday afternoon. He's a convicted sex offender serving a life sentence for continuous sexual abuse of a child. TDCJ says during a visitation on Sunday, his mom gave him a hoodie and ID, items that allowed him to walk out the door. TDCJ says his mom, Lenore Pristel, used to work at another prison and had an understanding of how things worked. Bristol was arrested and charged with facilitating an escape. Officials say her boyfriend, Russell Williams, helped and charged him with criminal intent to escape. ABC 13 learned it's not the first breakout at the facility. Two months ago, a different inmate at the Clemens unit walked away. In October, TDCJ says a nonviolent offender in a housing unit outside of the main prison ran away. He was found nearby. Two escapes that have people who live nearby calling for change. Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. Either a finger ID or something to get out, you know. You can't just walk in and out. Well, as for Yancey, he's not walking into this facility. TDCJ said he was brought to another one. Now, he was already convicted and serving a life sentence, and he could face even more time. Because of his 18 hours on the run, he now faces a felony escape charge.